In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, friends of Jesus, you are welcome to your program on Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. I'm Dorothy Atire Sonko. It's a joyful Sunday, the 17th Sunday of Ordinary Time in ERC, and also a very beautiful Sunday when we remember to pray for our grandparents all the elderly and the grandparents we remember to pray for them today to honor them and also to respect them as his holiness pope francis calls us to children let's humble ourselves wherever we are we put off all the distractions so that we pray together and we listen in In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, love be thy name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not to eat temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among all women, and blessed is the foot of them, Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear children, as I've told you that today is a very special Sunday, we are celebrating the day for the elderly, and our grandparents, His Holiness, Pope Francis, calls all of us to, to pray for them, to remember them. And also today we conclude the novena. We have the celebration of St. Anne and St. Joachim, the grandparents of Jesus. Do you have grandparents, dear children? And how do you call your grandparents in your language? I know in some languages they call grandparents Jajamwami, Jajamchala, others say Kaka, Shenguru, all those names which we, we love to mention, we love to call our, our grandparents. And so children, the theme for this time is that they will bear fruits in their old age. They will bear fruits in their old age. And we are the fruits of our grandparents. All that we are, all that we have, the wisdom that we have, the beautiful things that our parents have and are already sharing with us, it is because of our grandparents. So to the children, will you do something special for your grandparents? Those of us who live in town, will you call your grandparents and talk to them and assure them of your love and ask them for the blessing also? You know, grandparents always say very many prayers for our parents and also us. And those of us who live with our grandparents, please, today, make sure that you prepare them a very special meal. Do something very nice to make them happy. Are we together? Yes. And today in the Gospel, according to Luke, chapter 11, verse 1 to 13, we hear what Jesus is telling us. We shall hear Jesus telling us something very beautiful about prayer and about helping one another. So children, let us listen very carefully and then... We hear what Jesus is telling us today. Speak to us, dear Jesus, for you are our preacher. Open our hearts to receive your word. Ask and it will be given to you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, 
chapter 11, verse 1 to 13. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples, and he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, Allah be thy name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we are souls. Forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation. And he said to them, Which of you has a friend who will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived from as I ride from our journey and I don't have anything to set before him and he will answer from within do not bother me the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed I cannot get up and give you anything I tell you though he will not get up and and give him anything because he is his friend Yet because of his importunity, he will raise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, ask and you will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. And who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. What father among you? If his son asks for fish, will instead of a fish him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you are then are evil, know how to give food, good food gifts to your children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Children, as we have heard from the gospel according to Luke chapter 11, verse 1 to 13, the disciples are asking Jesus to teach them how to pray. Do we pray at home? And what prayer do we say at home? Okay, I know most of us pray the Our Father prayer. Among all the prayers that we pray, the Our Father prayer is always there. But do you know what the Our Father prayer means? It, it is the Lord's prayer. It is known as the Lord's prayer. It is the prayer of Jesus. It is this special prayer that Jesus gives to all of us. He first gave to the disciples and he also gives it to all of us that we are able to be connected with God our Father. God our Father in heaven. We praise the name of God our Father. We ask God our Father to give us our daily food so that we do not starve. And when we are asking for the food, we don't ask for only ourselves. That is why we say, give us our daily bread. We don't say, give me my daily bread, meaning that Jesus is inviting us to all reshare whatever we have. Let us all reshare so that what we have, what's shared, is enough for everyone. It is in this prayer of our Father that we ask for forgiveness, forgiveness of our sins. And also, we learn how to apologize and to forgive others too. Are we together, dear children? We ask for forgiveness and surely God in his mercy and love forgives us. And in the prayer of our Father, we also pray that God's kingdom may come here on earth as it is in heaven. We pray that in the kingdom of God there is joy, there is love, there is peace, there is happiness. And once all this come down to earth, then also us we are able to share in those beautiful gifts. 
It is in the prayer of our Father that we ask God that his will may be done in our lives. Many times we want to do things on our own. We want to, to play, we want to... Sometimes we want even to fight. We, sometimes we feel we want to do other things that are contrary to what God wants of us. But God's will for us is always beautiful. God wants us to grow into good people. People who will know him, serve him, love him, and also love others and serve others as children, friends of Jesus. So dear children, every time we pray this prayer of our Father, we are connecting ourselves to God, our Father, and what he wants of us. God wants us happy. God wants us to grow into good people. And God wants us to be his own, to be his lovely children. So let's always call upon the name of God, our Father, always. And he'll always be with us. He will give us the Holy Spirit to guide us. Also, in this gospel, we hear something very beautiful about praying, asking, knocking. And we see people helping others. Because Jesus says that when we ask, we shall receive. When we knock, the door will be open to us and we also hear about friends a friend who at one moment maybe doesn't want to help but because you have persistently asked you have persistently knocked then a friend comes out to help what does this mean for us dear children let us always persevere in praying we are young let us keep praying. Even if we grow, let us keep praying. Like our parents are always praying for us. Our grandparents in a very special way pray more and more for us because they pray for our parents and also they pray for us. Hallelujah! 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 Our memory verse is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, verse 1. Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, teach us to pray. When we learn how to pray, then the Holy Spirit guides us to love each other. The Holy Spirit guides us to be good friends, good children, and good people of God. Let us have our prayer intentions that God of love you call us to always pray to you and trust in only you hear our prayer God be A prayer for peace. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life and everything. Lord Almighty, we pray for peace. Peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, peace in our country, and peace in the whole world. Lord Almighty, may you promote peace between Ukraine and Russia so they may become friends again. Lord, we pray. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. A prayer for all church leaders. Lord, we pray for all church leaders around the world. The Pope, Cardinals, Bishops, Priests, Lincoln, and the clergy. May I give them your knowledge to proclaim your word. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. A prayer for schools and teachers. Heavenly Father, we would like to pray for all schools in the whole world. We pray that you may protect them against unpleasing dangers. 
and we also commit our teachers into your hands, that you may protect them in whatever they do, lead them and guide them, give them knowledge and wisdom, and you may also give them the zeal to be more faithful to your words. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for the needy. Lord, Heavenly Father, we pray for the needy, especially the sick. Grant them your healing hand so that they may be able to endure whatever pain they have. Help them to heal whatever disease they suffer from. Forgive them for what they've done. Do not punish them, but have mercy on them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for the souls in purgatory. Dear loving Father, we are sorry for all the sins we have done to you. We are sorry for all the bad things we have done to you. We ask you to forgive those who are in purgatory and welcome them into your kingdom. In turn, rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may their special light shine upon them. May they rest in peace, amen. In turn, rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may their special light shine upon them. May they rest in peace, amen. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the name of the Father, and Lord the Son, and Lord the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginnings, now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Saint Peter, pray for us. Uganda Matters, pray for us. Saint Chizito, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, dear children. It's been such a beautiful experience with you. Very great lessons we have learned from you. And thank you, all the liturgy teachers, for your cooperation and for all your efforts into making this program what it is. And our dear priests, thank you for the guidance and counsel, and in a very special way. Children, Let's keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. Good news for all. It is our TV and it is our program. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye, dear children. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television. We are children of the Holy Thank you.